YouTube, this is Star Strike Duelist, and today we are here with Steven from Multi Monster Deals, and we're gonna be showing you guys a uh, Light Torn deck profile. Uh, you wanna talk a little bit about the deck or the stuff that came um, out? Just standard Light Torn Dragon Ruler. Phil's gonna be really competitive in the uh, Nationals coming up. Phil's gonna be one of the best decks and like one of the most played next to Gears. Okay, so go ahead and do a quick deck profile. Uh, Triple JD. Hands down, best card, obvious. Um, triple Lumina. Uh, another just very standard Light Sworn card. You can pitch the dead wolves and dead like Rainbow Creep and stuff in your hand. Some another guy. Um, see, this is a card that I feel really makes the deck different. Uh, Raiden. It makes it like completely different than what it was already. It lets you mill extra cards. It's a level 4 tuner. That's like the most important part. And uh, this right here is supposed to be the Mineva. The new level 3 lights one coming out. But her effect is really irrelevant. Just the fact that she's a level 3 tuner. So you're allowed to open up into more synchro plays, especially with Lumina. And I play double Lila. Standard. She pops back rows, mills 3. Uh, one Garroth. One Wolf. One Aaron, one Jane, and one Ryko. Um, just really standard Light Sworn cards. Uh, helps you fill extra names for JD. Um, I'm playing double Light Ray Diabolos. <clears throat> it's actually a really good card. Um, it helps, especially in games 2 and 3 when you side in deck Decree. You can banish light monsters from graveyard like with Eclipse Wyvern and stuff. And then look at this, or look at one set, spell your trap your opponent controls, or one set card. So you can put armors and stuff back. Um, you reveal it, and then you put it either the opponent's top or bottom of the deck. So like, if you have to creep up, you hit a trap, you just put it on top of the deck, dead draw. Um, I'm playing Blaster, Tempest, and Redox. I decided to cut title. Title just became a dead draw a lot of the time. Um, all of these, like, highest attack, you can banish the Volvo Chain. Whatever attack, you can banish Draco Sacks, and then... Whatever defense is banished, like the maxis and stuff in the side deck. And, like, they're all just more relevant than the title was. Um, three Eclipse Wyvern, hands down, what makes the deck what it is now. You can, uh, one ascent to the graveyard, banish any uh, light or dark dragon, level 7 or higher. And uh, when this card is removed from the graveyard, you add whatever dragon that you banish back to hand, so you can return, uh, you can banish Diablos or Judgment Dragon, add them back to hand when they're removed. Uh, you can banish them for E-Dragons and whatnot. Uh, Triple Curry Bandit, going first turn, opening up a like, Bandit and like a Recharge or Charge Library or whatever. Like, you just mill through the entire deck super fast. Uh, really big for hitting good combo pieces. Um, and see, I decided to play Triple Rainbow Curry. I feel this card's going to be a lot better than Necrogrind. <clears throat> with this deck being a thing, with Raiden and Maneuva, Crimson Blade is going to be a huge card, and so you can just activate this from hand when or Crimson Blade attacks, drop it, Larry can't attack anymore when it's in graveyard, when it's milled or whatever. Anytime it hits a graveyard, you can special summon when the player's direct attack, and so it just acts as Necrogun to take an extra hit, uh, block an extra hit. And it's a light for your Diabolos and stuff. And I play Honest. Um, this card's whatever, like it's iffy. I'm going to, might change it for a second wolf or something for when I hit with Raiden. Um, spells, one soul charge, I feel three is, two is too many, three is way too many, one's fine. If you draw it, you win, if you don't, doesn't matter. Um, one charge of the Light Brigade, just staple Rota, mill three, and three solar recharge, and those are the only spells that I play. Does the recharge ever get cloggy at three? Uh, at times, but now they have Raiden and Nearbear cards, yeah. it's a lot easier okay. to have more Light Swords in hand. Um, and this card... Needlebug's Nest. A lot of people are starting to like say it's not that good. I still feel it's one of the best cards, especially going second. Being able to load up your grave even faster than normal, <clears throat> saying the extra five really does help a lot, and you want to see it as soon as possible. And then the other two traps I play are two wing blasts. Um, helps with dead cards in hand. Uh, really good disruption card. Just all around good card. How many count is the main deck? Uh, I believe it's 42. Okay. And uh, the extra deck. One Black Rose, uh, Mikkel. Mikkel is really, really good. Um, pay a thousand, banish one card your opponent controls, and when it is destroyed, you return all light swings from your graveyard into your deck. Really good card, really good to recycle. Uh, one Scrap Dragon, just standard level eight. Um, one Crimson Blader, one Leo, and this is supposed to be a Star Eater. Uh, I didn't didn't pick one up from my booth yesterday. 
at Frankenstein's, and uh, Angel of Zero. I really like this card right now because it gains 100 for every uh, card your opponent has that's banished, and when it's banished itself, during the next standby phase, you special summon it. So if you summon it, uh, and then it, say it gets destroyed somehow, or just sent to the graveyard, if you special summon Light Raid Diabolos, you can activate its effect banishing Angel Zero, and then bring it back out for more plays. Really and it's a level 8 as well, so I mean, it's not that bad of a card. <clears throat> uh, those are the singles for the Exceeds. I play one Levier, really good at recycling, um, Eclipse Wyverns and Lila, stuff like that. Anything that gets banished from like Diabolos. Um, one Alucard really helps with the gear matchup. Um, one Dweller, one Lavalva Chain, one Arc, Big Eye, Dragosac, and a Felder. Okay, uh, and I noticed that you cut Roll the Kree out of the main deck. Was there a particular reason for that? Um, a lot of years, like, the Kree is really meant for the gear matchup. And a lot of gears are main decking MST now, so I just feel there's no point in playing uh, World Decree, especially since there's going to be so many light swords running around too. Uh, it's terrible in the mirror, and so like the five traps I do play are all chainable, so if they just blind MST or whatever, because that's what I see a lot of gear players doing now. Because hat isn't as big as it was, artifacts are just slowly dwindling down. All these cards are just chainable. Uh, I can just draw them, set them, like, you don't have to wait for anything. Okay, and you feel like the deck is going to be pretty good after the structure deck is actually legal? Yeah, uh, so we're doing this on a Thursday right before the starter deck comes yeah. out. I feel this deck is still like one of the top contenders for Nationals this year. Okay, alrighty guys, and don't forget to check out Multi Monster Deals, our Facebook and website. Okay, bye guys! Hey guys, if you would like to stay in touch with me, please check out my social networking websites as well as multi-monster deals for awesome coverage and articles. But anyway guys, I will see you later. Bye!